Hey guys, welcome to BalsaCircle.com where we do decorations for weddings and special events. And yes, I cannot believe we're on our last video and we're going out with a bang for our Valentine frenzy here. So basically we have two options on how to do some DIY funness for the kids to give to their friends at school for Valentine treats. We are gonna start with Cupid's heart treats, his love sent to everyone. So basically for this look, we just need some straws, gem stickers, treats, baking supplies, glue, and a little bit of love, or maybe a lot. <laughs> so here we're starting off with some two heart cookie cutters. Now we have these in a gift box. That's how they come. They come in two different sizes. These are also great for wedding favors, obviously, because it has to do with love. So you can use these for two things. So here we're just using these to obviously make that cut out in the Rice Krispie Treat. We also put icing there. We didn't have the fancy smancy kind of a what do you call that frosting uh, bag but we just used a ziplock bag and we we went to town with it and I, I thought it looked pretty cute myself <laughs> and basically we just made that and popped it in the fridge or the freezer for about 10-15 minutes made it hard and now we're moving on to needing a black and white striped paper straw and our um, sparkly glittery foam sheets here now we started off with kind of a smaller heart and then we made a really big one but we noticed that kind of in between this middle size we made a little template for ourselves and this fit the straw the other one was it was a little bit too small and then it was a too big so just kind of mess around with the template and then make both the same size after so here we use the two pink here you can also use the red it comes with several sheets and it will just whatever you put in there you can match it but of course we had pink on the rice krispie treat so we had to have pink on the bag of course so here we just put some um, hot glue inside leave a little bit of a perimeter on the outside because when you squish the uh, the two together the glue is also going to seep out you're not going to probably get it exact so just take some scissors clean up the edges and voila we've got it all there so here we're just taking a clear baking bag you can get this at any craft store and cutting down that straw just a little bit now at the edges as you can see we're taking some scissors and making two little slits on each side of the straw now this is where we're gonna put the actual end of the arrow we took three sheets of kind of craft paper that has a little bit of a ripply effect um, as the texture we thought it was really cute with this and um, with the three it also gives it if you feather it out it gives instead of using feathers it gives a little bit more of a 3d look and also it stays a little bit more steady in that slit if you just used one they might slip out so that's why we did three as well so there you go there's the top of the bag here you're gonna put in your Rice Krispie Treat if you wanted to go all the way and make something yourself you can do that or you can do little you know fun size Reese's pieces that are shaped into hearts or I mean gosh on the market they have so many cute things it's really just hard to choose so you you go to town and choose whatever you want so here we're just putting two little dollops of glue now for this part it is optional if you want to use a label instead um, we decided to do a doily for our uh, kind of our name tag to put on this or to put your poetic message of love you can do a label and you don't really need the glue because the label obviously has adhesive and it'll secure it into place with this we wanted to just show you if you have just some construction paper or if you have a doily around then you can just use a little teeny dollop of um, hot glue there and just roll it into place we don't want to do it all the way across and make it hard for them to get to the rice crispy treat because you know <laughs> those were the goods at and we don't want it too hard to get to <laughs> so there you go there it is now we just have to put the label on we are using a doily here we kind of liked how it had that scalloped look on the edges and also um, we had it on the house so why not use what we have and one little Tid tidbit here is make sure that you put the message or who it's to before you put 
it on the actual package because it's going to be a little bit more challenging later to write it on there because you're not going to have it on a flat surface but you know live and learn right <laughs> so here we're just putting two of the glue dots on each side and wrapping around that top you don't need too many like i said because you want it easy for them to open here we're just giving a little bit of uh, pizzazz on the label and putting some heart gem stickers now you can use these for anything if you're if you're into like stationery and uh, scrapbooking these are really great so these go a long way we didn't want to do too much on the label and put lots of color because there's a lot going on here. We just wanted to make it really simplistic but bring the whole look together with that delicacy there. So there you go. Happy Valentine's Day. That is our first look and Cupid is just thrilled to give you his heart. <laughs> so that is the first look. Our second look here is also just as simple but absolutely adorable. <laughs> so these Valentine lollipop treats, we're using the same kind of Rice, Rice Krispie treats, but here you're, we're using a favor box, some fabric, ribbon, and also some mesh here. For this, we're just using, uh, obviously, the Rice Krispie treat in the heart shape and also a lollipop stick. You can get that at any craft store, honestly. And um, we're just doing a little bit of a different design there. And as you can see, we just took a bag and snipped the edge and going to town with glitter. Uh, sugar glitter which you really can't go wrong with so here with this favor box we are um, just scoring all the sides first this is going to help you put it all together and um, make it kind of uh, everything come together smoothly so that one piece at the very end you're going to fold it out just to make it a little bit simpler so you just get that one little handle inside the other one inserts inside as well and then pop that inner one um, right in the middle there it's gonna come apart a little bit but it's totally fine on the edge you're just gonna do one side at a time and everything should come together really really smoothly so there you go these are so cute you can like I said you can use these for a wedding as well and it, it will be totally relevant to uh, obviously the event so here we're just using six by ten yards of sequin sheer tulle fabric we've got a red one and a pink one these are really pretty these also obviously can go for quite a few occasions here um, i love having these around the house too because this makes any kind of packaging fun without going through all the hassle of putting your own glitter on there um, yourself and all this stuff you can find in the description below so we've got you covered don't even worry about it so here we've got the lollipop here um, a made of Rice Krispie Treat, which is so cute. And here we're just taking off the lollipop stick. Now, in before you insert it, yeah, we inserted it before, but you wanna put this on first. It's a little bit more challenging to twizzle it around the lollipop stick if it's already in the Rice Krispie Treat, so you wanna for sure do this before. All you do, take some hot glue, and uh, look, so cute. You just made it into just like this super cute, blingified lollipop stick that is now Cupid's best asset. <laughs> so there you go. You can put some frosting in the hole there. That way it'll take, it'll um, secure it into place, pop it into the freezer or the fridge for a, for a few minutes and it'll be um, nice and strong there. Also, what's great um, is putting it in this bag. It'll also stay into place. Here we're just taking a couple of different ribbons and bringing it around this cute little lollipop. Of course, ribbon, any kind of print and then a solid color. This organza with the satin edges is really perfect for this. It doesn't take much. You, just, you can just do a little knot. You don't even have to do a bow because there's so much going on. Stick it in there and voila, super easy, so cute. You would definitely be the talk or your daughter will be the talk of the class. If I got this, I'd be like, wow, they are 
Martha Stewart is living at their house. So yes, this is so cute. And there you go. There are two really super cute ideas. Cupid's love, Cupid's heart, and lollipop. And voila, you have a complete look and you are ready to wow all the kids in the class. So make sure if you found this helpful, you found this fun, give us a big thumbs up. Um, let us know that you like it and also subscribe. We've got some more fun videos coming up. Comment below and we'll see you guys next time.